here we go. Grab your coffee or tea or wine, whatever. Kettle room. But, in amorum provinciae prudens, simulqui doctus. So doctus is our first past passive. So this is Agricola. He doctors, he, so he knows. The prudens, meaning he's aware of this. Um, so he's aware of the spirits of the animum of the provinces. So he, he's getting to know the temperament and simul at the same time per alien experimenta. This is through the testings or experiments and experience of alien, other people. Parum. It's a small amount. Profici armis. The armis is with arms. So, at the same time, knowing through the experience of others that um, Profici, if it was completed or finished with arms, or if you finished off with arms, parum, a small amount. If inuria, which is injustice, sequentor. So, if he follows what he's completed with arms, a uh, little will happen if you follow it with injustice. So the causes bellorum, the cause of war, statuit is our main verb. He decided, taking the infinitive, to excite away, to cut away the cause of war. So again, all that, Agricola knows about the um, temperament of the provinces. He knows what others have tried. And he knows that if he finishes it with arms and then uh, injustice follows, uh, parum, little will be done. So he decided to get rid of the cause of war. A se suis qui. So from himself and suis, his own. Orsus. This is the beginning. Uh, past passive. So he began from his own and his own people. Primum, first of all. Domum suem coerquit. Coerquit the main verb. This means the checking or controlling. Suem domum. His own house, first of all. Uh, quad. Plerisque, which for most people is horde minus, not less arduum est, not less arduous or hard, quam than regare, to rule a province. So what he's doing is, first of all, he's controlling and checking his own, himself and his own people in his own house, basically, uh, yeah, which is uh, less arduous than ruling the province. Nihil, so nothing per libertos through freed, freedmen, service qui, and, and slaves. Publicae rie, so none of his public matters were done through freedmen and slaves. Non studis privitus, his uh, private studies is an easy way of saying, or, or to his um, own private chores or whatever. Uh, nec ex commendation or precabus. So this is not through his own recommendations or through Precabus's prayers, but it's our entreaties is a common way of translating it. So he adskiris the verbal what's going on in the infinitive, which means to come into an alliance or to be admitted. So nothing, no one through his um, commendations or through entreaties did he admit any centurion or a common slave, uh, soldier. The VE is the enclitic here. So he wasn't doing public business through his slaves or free men, and he didn't admit people into his own private matters um, by recommendation or for entre entreaties. This was just the centurion or the, or the um, normal soldier. Said optimum quem qui fidesimum putere. But said uh, putere. Quem quem is anyone, but anyone he thought was optimum, which is the best. Fidesimum, which is a superlative for the most law. So the person he thought was best for the job, he would uh, admit for this um, these jobs, private or publique. Omnia scire. So he wanted to know omnia, everything. And non omnia exequi. Um, if he didn't know everything, if it was non omnia exequi, he would follow up. Parvus, dative or ablative, peccatus, okay. This is to small peccadillos or to small sins or wrongdoings. Veniam. Um, this is a pardon. This is in the accusative. So there's a pardon to small wrongdoings. Magnus versus the parvus. So to great ones, he commodare, which means he adapted or gave severitatem. So again, veniam here was in the accusative, and here the sever, uh, the sever, sever uh, dealing severely to great things. That's also in the accusative. Nec poena semper. 
So not always it was poena, a punishment, said sapius, but rather often, that's a comparative, a uh, contentus essay. So he was content with a penentia, that's a word for regretting. So he didn't always want to give a punishment, but rather if they'd uh, turned away, if they'd regretted that he was content. Officious in administration obas, potius. Potius means rather, so to duties in administration, potius, who would rather, pre is the verb, ponere's place, and pre means in front. So we'd rather put people in charge in the front, pre, who would non peccatoras, that's the future, so they would not do these wrongdoings, quam, goes with the potius. Potius means rather, quam, then, to condemnare, to, to damn, uh, cum, when, peccasin. Yeah, so we'd rather put people in front of these uh, duties and administrations who would not do the wrong thing rather than the, to condemn them when they had done the wrong thing, when they had peccasin. And frumenti, we have, looks like, a nominative plural. So this is the grain and tributorum exactionum, the ex exaction or extraction of tributes, um, tributes of payment. So the grain and basically had to pay this tribute, which is a tax, uh, equitate, it says in the ablative, munerum moliri. So with the grains and the extraction of tributes, he softened, he moliri, he lessened it in the name of equalitate, so it would be more equal in this munerum, in this uh, duty. Kirkum kaisus, which means he cut away, kirkum around, so cut around that quae which in quaestum reparta, which was uh, discovered, repert as... Um, supine form of, it, of of having discovered something and in quiestum that's uh in making profit so he cut away things he found that were used in the profit um if so tributo gravius which is as a comparative tolerabator so which uh, he cut away those things which uh, made lots of uh, income or profit which uh to tolerate it was more serious than ipso tribute than, than the tribune tribute that they had to pay it's itself. Namque, for preludibrium, which is the accusative, ad sidere. Um, the ad can sometimes be turned into an S as well. So basically they had to sit around, you know, it's this mockery on this game of ludibrium at clausus horuses, horis, which is closed granaries, at and MRA to buy Frumenta, which is the grain, ultra of their own accord, ac and lure to wash away with a payment, pretio cogabantor. So they were, they were cogabantor, they were forced through this mockery to sit around outside of closed granaries and to buy this uh, grain and to uh, lure it, to wash away the price. Now, what this means is they bought grain and they didn't actually receive the grain. But they just paid for it and left it in the granary as their tribute. Tri is that how you call it? Tribute. Divortia itinerum. This is like a forking or branching off of the itinerary of the roads. And longinquitas regionum, uh, which is the genitive. So the forked off branch paths of the road and those longinquitas, which is, means far away, in the, in the kibato, they were indicated. Ut as uh, civitats or city states, proximus, as these are nearby cities, uh, Hibernus. This would be two, the winter camps. So they were indicated or named as states close to the winter camp. And deferent, which would mean they would carry it off in remota and avia. Via is the roadways, and avia mean impassable places. So. Well, we'll just continue on and have an explanation. Donec, until, quod omnibus, which was to all impromptu, we wrote, which had been ready at hand, had become a lucrosum, which is a, a lucrative deal, porcus for a few. Yeah, so these are uh, close city states. They were named as close city states to the uh, winter camp, but really they were a long way off and, and branch place. And so that all these things had to be carried into remote and, and unpassable places. Okay, so a prophet had gone to a few. Haec primo statum eno. So primo eno is in his first year, hake these things immediately, comprimendo. He crushed these actions of buying stuff and leaving it in the granaries and 
listing places as, as being close to the winter camps when they were really a long way away. So he'd been putting, the previous governors had put a lot of burdens on them. So this was Cum Primendo, which is a, a, a gerund. And the Gregoriam Fameam, which is a special kind of rumours and reports, his fame went around, Paki of peace, circum it. it was spread around, circum in, in like circular. Quay which, vel in curia, vel in tolerantia, priorum. So again, priorum, these are the prior governors, either through lack of care in curia or in tolerantia, they just didn't care. Horde minus, not less, quam than bellum, war, they feared. So these are the inhabitants of this land. Uh, previous governors had been doing a bad job and these things were hard to tolerate any less than the, the bellum, the war itself. Said Ubi, but when Aestas, summer advenant, arrived, contracto exusquitu. So with his army contracted, his ablative, so many of these army contracted into one group, Maltus, many of the times, and we see this as, a, as the US there, so it's uh, him the nominative. So many times he was in the Agmine, this is in the columns of the troops. Lord Array modesty, he would praise Lord Array, uh, the modesty or their temperament, and the disyectos, these are about who were like strewn about or wandering about. Coecare, he would check them or get them in order. Loca castris, which is the place for the camp, Ipse himself, Capere. He himself would pick or choose this place for the camp. Estuaria and Silvus. Estuaries are what we call estuaries. It's like a muddy, marshy place and Silvus are woods. Ipse himself, Prey temptore. Prey means in front. So he would go out in front and, uh, and attempt to find paths through it and he'd join in with the men. Okay. Et nihil Interim. Interim is meanwhile, it's an adverb. And so nothing meanwhile, a put hostis amongst the enemies. Um, hostis is a nice dam. Um, Pati, did he allow uh, the enemy any quiet, him any rest? Quo minus, uh, by which any less. Sabatus excursionibus, with his sudden excursions, these sudden raids, he would populate or he would uh, raid them and ravish it and carry things off. Atqui and Ubi Satus. And when he'd satisfactorily terrorwatted, he had uh, terrified them. Parkendo, we have a these are it's a, it's a gerund. It looks like it could be a um, gerund. If we'll have a look, Rosus is again in vitamenta. So he would con consider them uh, by ostendering. He would show them the invitamenta. So these are the lures of peace. Rosus again, he would show them. How great it was in Parkendo, this would be uh, sparing them and um, showing them conditions. And we'll have a quick daily dictionary look at Parko. Sometimes it takes the, the date if you're going to spare someone. Yeah, but to be a show consideration, be economically thrifty with. Okay, so Quibus Rebus. With these things, multi Kivites, many. Many states using these uh, circumstances matters. Quae which in Ilum Diem into that day, Igerent had conducted themselves ex aequo on equal conditions. Datus obsidiabus with um, hostages given. This could this is usually their princes or noble people. They give their children over as hostages. Obsidiabuses. Uh, posware, poswerunt. It's just the shortened version. The place down there are the anger. And Presidus and Castellus. This is garrisons and forts, or castles, as I like to say, they're forts. They were circumdate, they were surrounded. And Tanta Ratione Curiqui. And with such uh, planning and diligence done, the cares done, Ut Nola Anti, as none before, uh, Britannia Nova Parts. So this is new parts of Britain, Parata equally. Transirate, they crossed over. Uh, before, none of them had been able to cross over in La Cessa, which means un, unmolested, basically. They hadn't been able to go over to the Romans before, but now they've got their garrisons everywhere. Um, they could cross over. Sequens hymns saluberimus concilia absumpta. So the following winter, the sequens hymns winter, was absumator, that's the female version, that was taken up 
with very safe and sound um, concealers. This again is their plans or their measures. We'll scroll a bit. Namqui, for ut homines, as men dispersi, they were dispersed everywhere, and rudes, which means they're crude, uncivilized, and eo in bella faculties, and they were easily given over uh, there in, in war, into war. Quieti in otio per voluptates ad suess current. So what's going on is they, be, they become acclimatized or accustomed per voluptates through pleasures and um, living high on the hog. They were given over to rest and otio, which is leisure. Hortari, that's a um, deponent, they're encouraged privatum, uh, privately as private citizens at Uvere, um to help with the public. This is our public works. Ut as temples, forums, fora and domos and houses extruant as they private citizens were encouraged to um, help them to build up temples, forums and houses. These forums and marketplaces, they also have like courts there. Uh, Lord Endo Promptos, so there would be praising on this gerund form to the Promptos, the ready at hand, and it was castigation, which is uh, chewing out for the segness, for those who are slowly or slothful. Eta honoris emulatio pro necessate erat. And so thus, pro necessary as was needed, there was a emulatio, there was a rivalry honoris of, of honours. Um, yam vero, but now, principum, genitive plural, filios. The sons of the princip, princes, of the leaders, erudere, they become learned or educated in the liberal arts, ablative, ablative plural, in liberalibus artibus, and the ingenia Britannorum, and the inborn characteristics, the ingenia of the Britons, studis gallorum anti ferre. These were placed, ferre, in front of the studies of the Gauls or the um, pursuits of, of what the Gauls did. Ut, so that, qui, modo, those who are modo linguam romam abnurbat. Abnurbat's when you shake your head saying no. Um, so those who had merely well, before, had, um, didn't want to know the, the Latin tongue, uh, concupiscurrent. They now desired eloquentium to learn this eloquence. Inde etiam. So next or then even, habitus, which is the clothing, nostra of our clothing. Honor in frequent toga. So this was considered an honor to be wearing the Roman clothes and frequents. You can just say frequently they were toga clad. And Paula Tim, little by little, discursum, they left ad delentimentum vitiorum to these allurements or softenings of the vices. So they soon left off into these allurements. A porticus is a colonnade, and a ballerina is the baths, and convivorum genitive elegante, and the elegance of big dinner parties. Idqui, and this amongst imperatos, the in, inexperienced, uh, vocator was called the humanitas, it was called civilization and humanity. Cum, which, eset, had been pars, part, servitudus of their slavery. So, they called this being civilized when it was part of their slavery.